Hello, today we're gonna to do three digit addition and three digit subtraction. I'm gonna show you how to carry and how to borrow on the problems. And I'll show you strategies on how to do your work on the side and make it simplified. So if you have a hard time, it'll make it easier when you transition. All right, so first we have problem number one. So we have 575. So, Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ones column first. So we have seven plus four. Um, I like to do dots a lot of times in the lower grades, they'll show dots and then you just count the dots to add them. So I'm going to model that and I'm going to put three columns on the side of my work to show you one, two, three, that way my dots will be there and I'll carry column one into my ones column, column two into my tens and then column three into my hundreds column. So that's what I'm going to do. So I got seven plus four. So I'm going to put seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to put a little line to show separation. And then now I'm going to add my four dots on the top. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So I've got my seven plus four modeled on my column over there. So now I'm going to count. I like to tell my students that I stick the biggest number in my head, seven. And I'm just going to count it from seven and add my four. So I'm going to say seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to bring down my 1. Uh, and then I have to carry that 1 because that first 1 on the 11 is in the 10s column. So I'm going to carry that and put that over my 7. So now I'm done with my 1s column. So now I'm going to add my 10s column. So I've got 5 plus 7. So I'm going to draw 5 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a little line to separate it. i got 7 dots I have to put. So now I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I got to put one more dot above that to show that I'm carrying that one and I'm going to add that. So now my biggest number was seven. So I'm going to start from seven and then count five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So five plus seven is 12 plus one is 13. So I'm going to bring down my three. And then, oh, and then I'm going to carry my one. So that one is now in the hundreds column. So now we have one last part and we're done. So now we're working on two plus five plus one. So I'm gonna draw two dots, one, two. Draw a little separation line to show my five. One, two, three, four, five. Draw one more separation line to show the one I carried. One, now I'm gonna start with the biggest number. The biggest number was five. So I'm gonna go with five. And then I'm gonna go six, seven, eight. So our total is 831. All right. If you have any problems, you can slow motion. I'm sorry, you can hit pause and rewatch it. I'm going to model one more problem um, just so you have more um, examples. So my next one is number two is 419 plus 294. So I'm going to do three little columns on the side to show my work. Um, so now nine plus four. So I'm going to draw my nine dots on my third column. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to draw a little line for my separation. Now I'm going to, so I'm going nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 was my answer. I'm going to plug in the three in the ones column. I'm going to carry my one into the tens column. And now I have to go nine plus one plus one. So now I'm going to draw nine dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one. Draw a separation line to show the one I carried. And now I'm going to count them all up. Nine was my biggest number. So I'm going to plug nine in my head and then count up um, the one and the other one. So I got nine, 10, 11. So now I'm going to plug in my 11. So I'm going to bring down a one and I'm going to carry the other one. That one is now in the hundreds column. So now we're going to go two plus four plus one. So I'm going to plug those numbers in. So I've got to put two dots to represent two, four dots to represent four, one, two, three, four, the separation line. And now I'm going to put a one to show that I carry that. So now I'm going to count my biggest number, which was four. So it's four, five, six, and then seven. So our total is 713. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do two subtraction examples. That way, if you go on to the work that's subtraction, you can rewatch the video if you forget, and then you can see the subtraction part in case you need any help. So we're gonna borrow. I picked math problems that have a bigger number on top, so we do have to borrow. Um, so from some of you students who've been in my class, I talk about video game math. Um, I like to talk about that because when we have video games, you have a character that has a number of hit points and he has a value it might be 800 and then you have another uh, character who might have a value of 200 so if the two fight you realize that the guy who has 800 he might lose 200 points but he's going to defeat the guy that only had 200 points and he'll be left with 600 points um, so i'm going to illustrate that here so we have a guy who has 527 points and then he's going to be doing battle with the guy who has 299 points so I'm going to start on my third column first. Um, so seven can't beat nine. So he's going to ask his buddy for help. Oh, I'm sorry. Usually when I teach this, I talk about each character, each number is its own character. So seven cannot beat nine. He's going to go and ask two for help. We can see that two cannot beat nine either. So he can't give seven help. So they both need to get help first from number five. So two goes over and asks um, five for help. Five says, yeah, I could spare you one. So five turns into a four. He turns his buddy two into a 12. 12 is also gonna help seven out. So he's gonna go ahead and cross himself out, turn himself into a power of 11. And he's gonna turn his buddy seven into a 17. So now we have 17 minus nine. So I can do the same thing with characters. I'm gonna draw three quick columns. I'm going to draw 17 characters to represent my 17, 15, 16, 17. Now, some students have a hard time with this, so I'm just going to cross off the one. I'm going to cross off nine ones to show what we have left. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After they do battle, let me circle how many dots are remaining. Because 17 was able to defeat number nine. But how much did it cost him? It cost him nine of his uh, points or power points. So now he's left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's left with eight. So I'm done with my ones column. Now I'm going to work on my tens column. So now 11 is now going to do battle with nine. So I'm going to draw 11 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. So now after they do battle, nine is going to take out nine dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I crossed off those dots. 11, wow, barely survived. He's got two dots, two points left. So we have two points. I'm going to put my two down there. And now we're going to move on. Sorry, the Sharpie's uh, not writing quite darkly with the flash from the light. Um, so we have 28 so far. Now four or three or hundreds columns going to do battle. Four is going to do battle with two. So I'm going to draw four dots. And then I'm going to cross out two because two destroyed two of those dots. And our remainder is two. So I'm going to put down my two in my hundreds column. So our answer is 228. So a big number, 527. Those three guys went to do battle with 299. After they got some help from their friends, their remaining hit points left as a team was 228. All right, last problem. Our last one is... 628 is going to do battle with 289. So I'm going to draw my columns to show those numbers represented. So now 8 cannot defeat 9. He's going to have to ask help. And oh my gosh, 2, he can't defeat 8. So he's going to have to ask for help. Luckily, 6 can help them both out. So 6 is going to cross off. We're going to put a 5 above that. He's going to lend 1 to 2. So now that 2 is now a 12. Um, but that 12 also has to help his friend number eight out. So we're going to cross off our 12 and put an 11 above that. And then he's going to lend one to eight. And now eight is now 18. So he's super strong. He doubled his power. So now we're going to go 18. So I'm going to draw 18 dots on that right column here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now I'm going to cross off nine of those dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I'm going to circle it 
And now I've got to count my dots remaining that survived from those that battle. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to bring down my nine. All right. Now 11 is going to do battle with eight. So I'm going to draw 11 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. After they get into battle, eight's going to take eight of his points away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're remain, our remainder is three dots. So we're going to put our three down there in the tens column. Now we have five remaining. So five is going to do battle with two. So I'm going to draw five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Two of those dots or hit points get taken out. We're left over with one, two, three. So I'm going to plug in my three for my hundreds column. So we're left with 339. So when you're starting to learn how to subtract and add, um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can use number lines. You can use your fingers or... Uh, for a lot of students, the best thing to use is dots because now you can physically see I had 18 dots and nine of them are crossed off, so I'm left with nine. The uh, physical representation on scratch paper or showing your work really plugs into your brain the fact of what's actually going on. I also like to talk about video games because when we do um, subtraction, it's very real when we play our video games um, on Prodigy and um, actual video games where you have two characters going into battle and we know how strong they are before they go into battle and we already know who's gonna be the victor, who's gonna win. Um, so this shows you very real that the winner does win, but he's left with some damage because he's not as strong as he was when he went into battle. Um, and this is how I like to show my math. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any problems, please rewatch and please do your work. Thank you.